I was actually gonna work there to be eight, but I decided to go back to Nordstrom. Worn by Adriana Lima. I don't know if I should be in a vlog, but they are beautiful. What I'm missing, I'm in the gala. I feel skinny. We've got on the uh, Bottega Atomic Boots. Yes. They are closing the Scotch and Soda store, so they have 80% off if you guys didn't know. I'm a stylist and a personal shopper for Neiman Marcus. So my orders are preparing to ship, which I'm so excited. Hey guys today is a new vlog today is thursday this video will probably go out you know on friday or saturday come work with me and i mucho mucho trafico like oh my god so much traffic like literally ever since i moved back un chingo de trafico i definitely need to get my eyebrows threaded and i need a haircut which i'll probably end up doing tomorrow but let me face through this traffic and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit but today i'm wearing my alice and olivia jacket and i feel very chanel vibe i have my bottega toe a Stanley Cup. I, I drink a lot of water, um, but what am I missing? I feel skinny. It's been quite busy. I've been wanting to show you guys the floor, but they had an Alexander McQueen bag go 85% off. I posted them on my Instagram, Shop with Sergio. Shop with Sergio and Sergio Secret are going to be completely two different things. They'll mix in every once in a while. But I'm always going to tell you guys to follow me on there because that's when I post the deals. I had like 25 in the inventory and I sold them all. Like literally all my subscribers, they bought the bag for 85% off. So make sure you guys always follow me on there just because you'll be able to, um, you know, get all the deals and everything shopping. And I post when I work. So if you guys want to keep with me here at North Park, I'm always here. So... Yeah, or just to no Chick Fil A. I wanted to get something else, but honestly, like, I still have like uh, a few things that have to do with customers and clients. So I really want to go to Corner Bakery. Quiero sentarme, pero la mera verdad, ni tengo tiempo. But I will walk the floor with you guys just to show you everything that we have in la tiendita. That Alice and the McQueen back for eighty five percent off. Uh, right now we have house party, so I got, I got an additional thirty percent off of it. So lo gare por whatever three forty three, and they got my thirty percent off of it. So and then I had a Nordstrom note. So I ended up paying like maybe two fifty for a twenty two ninety bag, and then I bought some for some of my friends for like Navidad. Y'all know who y'all are. So yeah, if you guys bought something from me, if you bought any of those bags, whenever y'all get them, make sure to tag me on Instagram because um, I'm definitely trying to get my followers up on there and you know help you get some good deals. So yeah, oh, all over the place. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't like eating my papitas que tengo aquí con la con la manitas i always always like to eat my fries con un tenedor i've always been like that probably a little bougie pero con un tenedor siempre that's so many people i'll do a little walk through the mall in a little bit because i still have to edit a video so that's the only that's the main reason why i'm been all over the place because i have to edit that video too i have a few things to do but i'll walk you through the whole mall just so you guys know what's at north park North Park is going to be the most prestigious, most bougiest mall. There's no kiosk. It's not... This is the most bougie. It's like, it's not... I hate to use the word. It's not ratchet. It's not ghetto. Like, for me, I think what I consider a high-end mall is, like, not people hollering and hagging at you. You want your clean shoes. Like, I want to be able to walk and just, you know, not be bothered. And this is one of the few malls because, you know, Simon Properties, you know, they usually have, like, kiosks and stuff. You know, I don't mind, like, you know, hustle. But don't be, like, haggling me, you know, when I'm walking through the mall. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. They are closing the scotch and soda store, so they have 80% off if you guys didn't know. But this video should go out. This video should go out on Friday, so I'll be working on Saturday. So just make sure to follow me on there, and I'll be posting my scheduled shift. You guys can come kiki, or if you guys want to order anything with me, which I always love and appreciate, you guys know. Um, I'll be just leaving it, but I've been getting a lot of compliments on my jacket. It's from Alice and Olivia, like all the employees, all the customers. Hera came and visited me and we did a little outfit of her day. So I'll insert that right now. So I have my fabulous friend here, came and visited me. Look at this beautiful outfit. So give us an outfit detail. Okay, so today we've got on the uh, Bottega Atomic Boots. Yes. Very Tory Soldier. Um, 
gotta admit, this one's from the thrift. I don't know where it came from. And this was made from the thrift with hot glue. Got the epaulets, got everything. And of course, gotta dress it up with, with Hermes. The yes, we love, we love the belt. We love everything. It looks super good. Thank you. I, I forgot the Kelly <laughs> belt. Just a little something. And then something. the necklace is beautiful. Thank you. Just to remind me who I am. I am. Yes. I forget. <laughs> Your makeup and everything looks stunning. She I pulled just, up to me. I pulled up. Sergio's back, so I had to come say hello. He looked fabulous. Yes, look at that makeup. It looks beautiful. Just a little something. <laughs> He's back, y'all. Oh, pull up. Uh, pull up. That money. Money. <laughs> but I always love and appreciate them. All of you guys are like friends, like very familiar friends. I appreciate it a lot. Pero, uh, tengo hambre, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. It's starting break room. Um, finishing my lunch. I'm still breaking out. I just got finishing editing a video, so let's do a mini what's in my bag. So. Obviously, I always keep a Stanley cup with me. But I still use some dough, me, agruto de Bottega. And so, you know, guys, you know me, I love to have more than one glasses. These ones are from Alaya, which I talked to you guys about the summertime. A lot of you guys have this. Shout out to one of my beautiful subscribers, Janice. She bought these. She lives in Chicago. I love her so much. So every time I wear them, I always think of her. And um, my Prada little makeup bag. I have a Miu Miu perfume. I, I was only gonna bring one, but I feel like they needed to be together. This, some hair perfume. This is Flower Bomb. I've had that for a long time. Another hand sanitizer. This serum, which is about to finish. Mini lip injections, and then full lip injections, and then a sore lip liner. Actually, and this is, I've had this since I worked on Orange Mac, so I'm like, I found it in my parents' house, so I'm like, mm, I'm gonna use it. It's so actually some manchot, like in toothbrush or toothpaste. So, yeah, I have a bunch of orders that I have from the Alexander McQueen bag. I'll let you guys clean me out, and I have all y'all's like receipts in here too. I have to put I put those away for my purpose, like for um, work purposes. Mi carterita, and then my dark need over just has my Olivers, which are not in the case. And you would think, because aquí está mi llavecito, and this is just a tech pouch with Raymans with. No ribbons in them. And then that's it. And my sister starts to touch. I feel like I'm showing you all my the city when I'm walking through here. So, like I said, I make comi lo lonchecito, mi videos también para los próximos few days. Everything's been good. We have a La La Land, which is actually really good coffee. They actually opened some in Houston. I think I've talked about it in vlogs before. What do we think about Banana Republic's rebrand? Are we here for it? Are we not here for it? But every store has to get like remodeled. Every store has to look good, has to look on point. Even like the Zara here is super nice. Like there's no, they used to be, this used to be Forever 21 back in the day. Girl, they kicked them out their lease and they said, we put in a Zara. Um, this Nike is actually two levels. It was actually supposed to have a basketball court allegedly, but they ended up not going forward with that. Look at Byredo, the only freestanding Byredo. Here, look at this little, little Lego Santa. When I tell you this is a bougie mall, cause it's not owned by Simon Properties or anything like that. This is like privately owned. So they take care of it. Like, I feel very bougie. This is probably the most bougie mall in Texas. Like, Galleria may have designer stores or may have like Chanel and stuff like that. But aesthetically and the type of customers they attract, cause the rent here is no joke. Like, I think this is the most beautiful mall other than Highland Park Village. But that's more like an out, outdoor mall. This is a little bit more of an indoor mall. So they're kind of like more of the like the mid brands, and then they have like the luxury row. Like, like there used to be a lot more like mid range. Like that Nike used to be an H and M. There used to be like more. There used to be a Barney's in this mall too back in the day. Stores are more boutiquey. This Aritzia here is huge. There's a Buck Mason. I know there's one in Montrose Collective in Houston, but yeah, tienen todo. I'm surprised there's an Abercrombie. Actually, where Banana Republic is, I think that's where, yeah, that's where Abercrombie used to be, where Banana Republic is. Like, if you guys remember, if you guys are OG, the trains at North Park, that used to be the Disney store. Lens Crafters. I think this used to be Loft. Yeah, it used to be Loft. And then they have Victoria's Secret. Eileen Fisher. I think my friend still works here. I don't see her in there. Yeah, this Aritzia is huge. Like, 
está demasiado grande. Let me get the Starbucks drink. Pero mira, mira qué grande está la chamarra. I want to try it on. It's a huge Aritzia. These are the wings actually worn by Adriana Lima. I don't know if I should bring a vlog, but they are beautiful. Okay, let's walk through the store. So this is the third time this Lululemon has been renovated. They have Una St. John, used to be Highland Park, Maria Tash, opening one in front of Marc Jacobs in the Houston Galleria. How do you guys like my commentary? Y'all here for it, not here for it. Margello, Marnie, these are exclusive Texas boutiques. Um, this Burberry Kisaki just got renovated it used to be where gucci used to be we're finally getting a prada boutique it's humongous can you believe dallas has never had a prada boutique but houston has what do you think about some of the burberry bags i'm kind of not sure how i feel about them then they have a louis vuitton which is pretty big this gucci was just got done renovating some an omega they always have beautiful art. Like, look at this. Like, you will not find this in any other mall. Like, mm -mm. you will not find it. You know, just just putting on piano and todo. Tory Burch. You know, I was actually gonna work there to be eight, but I decided to go back to Nordstrom because <laughs> I I miss all my coworkers. La Gucci. Esta también está nueva. La Saint Laurent. The Creed, Isabel Marat, Ferragamo, David Yerman, La Bottega. Están todos aquí. Fini, and then here's Neiman Marcus and the Old Far. La Dolce Gabbana. La Jill Sander. Look who came and visited me and let's do a little outfit of the day. So where's this from? Cardigans Burberry. What is this? T-shirt is rubber. How do you say the last name? Bearcat? Yeah, Bearcat. Something like that. Uh, jeans are Cuccinelli. Shoes are Loewe. Bag is Saint Laurent. Tell them, where, tell them where you work at. I'm a stylist and a personal shopper for Neiman Marcus. So he shouted me out today. I really appreciate him and I'm going to put him. So I do Nordstrom. He does Neiman's and he done bought a bag off of me so he dropped the bag <laughs> the first day back so y'all check him out tomorrow. yeah yeah review on his instagram yes oh my god so today has been so busy i literally sold like probably like 50 of these bags 50 mcqueen bags today 50 and i bought one for myself so i want to say thank you to everybody like what i say that coin and yo soy lo mejor do you guys know i know what i'm talking about i'm be doing a lot of pk i really wanted to film some tiktok videos but la mera los clientes vienen primero i had a lot of you guys hablando mi inglés español bonjour what's up <laughs> que onda wey todo so gratitude today was a really good day you see was watching out for me someone walked the floor a little bit I'm such a hot mess so I'm, I'm sorry but so blessed so Follow me on my Instagram page because I see most of you. I had to clean the whole floor, so we have Dior, Celine. I need to do my thumbnail. Maybe I should do it over here. Mark Jacobs, Tori. But ahora que andábamos all over the place, I was all over the place today. I didn't even sell any of the inventory here. I just pulled it all from other stores. But I had so many orders. But thank you to Chase. Thank you to Chase. So the outfit is Halogen, Alice and Olivia that I got at Neiman's. These are Vince trousers, my Gucci loafers. Here's some of the newer bags. I love this. For the radio season for Houston, I definitely want something like this. My mom for Christmas, she asked for a few things, but she asked for this bag. But she asked for it in this color, so. Maybe she'll get it tomorrow. Oh no, tomorrow's my day off. La Greca Versace. Miss Mink off. But yeah, today my schedule was 12.30 to 9.30. It's currently 9.30. I cleaned the entire sunglass floor. This jewelry. And then we're here in handbags. 
This is really pretty. I feel like I'm gonna stop myself. But honestly, andaba miena preocupadora. This is new. I do like the sparkly box from Current. It's too small. But andaba mien. I was literally gonna make TikTok videos and stuff, but when you have sales in front of you, you much rather have those sales. If you know what I mean. But yeah. McQueen was that girl today. She paid my bills today. I'm so thankful. Esas también están bonitas. But I do have a Q&A that I have to answer for you guys. So, this is working with me. I'm so tired. I ran around. I need to look how many steps. But I will be doing a Q&A at the end of the video. And then I'm going to bring you guys to work with me on Saturday. Because on Saturday, uh, también voy a trabajar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, it's the next morning. Um, I literally went to sleep yesterday. Most of my orders are preparing to ship, which I'm so excited. I did get end up. I did get end up getting an Alex. Well, I actually got a few um, for me and my friends because you guys know I'm a very generous friend. If you guys ever know me, that's something y'all can vouch for me. But the Alexander with my discount and everything, it was two sixty. But for mine, I actually had a Nordstrom note, so. Um, I just decided to, you know, use it on that. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys about? I also saw a lot of my subscribers yesterday, a lot of my friends. I saw Sharina. Hi, girly. How are you? Um, she watches all my videos. Um, she um, bought a Lagos bracelet off of me, and I finally got to meet her yesterday while I was at work. And then I met some of my other peeps, so I did meet quite a bit of you. Um, I think this video is gonna go out on Friday, so I do work on Saturday if you guys just want to come and say hi um, But yes, I ended up selling like like 30 McQueen bags Like I ended up selling like like honestly like what I made yesterday is what I made for the entire pay period Like that is actually insane, but that's like the power of social media I really didn't want to be on social media as far as like selling but it's just It'll, I would be throwing money on the floor if I choose choose not to. So um, I I did ask I did tell you guys to ask me questions for a Q and A. I didn't get a lot of questions. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that I got a lot of questions. I think I got maybe like uh, maybe like 20 of them. I, uh, this is something that I do want to keep doing. So I'm kind of introducing it in December, but I think starting in like January, February, like every other Friday, or every Friday, depending how many questions we get. Um, as my channel and as I kind of have more community with you guys um, So I did post this picture yesterday. I did get a lot of love on it uh, Want to say thank you so much <laughs> Not me watching a Diddy video before uh, getting back on here, but I did take guys to ask me some questions So I'm gonna take the ones from YouTube which were not even a lot and then I'll go on Instagram in my email so the first question that I got is what got you into Lux fashion? Do you remember the first brand that drew you in? Love your content. Keep it up. This is from Holy Los and um, Thank you so much. So for me what got me into Lux fashion is um, It was always something that I wanted to get into I think I did talk about in a few videos how like You know my first bag was like a coach bag. It was from the outlet It was like $65 and for me at the time like $65 was like a lot of money it's still a lot of money in this day and age, but, you know, considering my gustos and what I like and what I don't like, you know, but Coach is what got me into it, and I just love the way it made me feel. I love the way it expresses that I can feel. Um, I grew up, like, having to, like, wear makeup. Like, my parents would drop me off at school, or I would, like, ride the bus to school, and I would, you know, have a bag. Like, this is my long shot bag. And then I would go into the restroom, and I would completely transform myself. Um, I would have to hide, uh, you know, I would, you know, it's funny, I would have to have a makeup bag and I would wear makeup at school and then like during my last, you know, after school ended, I would go quickly to the restroom and I would, you know, you know, I actually have clothes in here, I would change clothes, I would change makeup, I would be back to the surgery that I was at home. The surgery that I was in public wasn't the surgery that I was behind closed doors because I kind of felt like that was the way that I needed to go and so for me I just feel like I deprived myself for many years of myself and so now like you know in this current day and age um, that's what kind of got me into Lux fashion and I just love the way it makes me feel and I just love good quality items and that necessarily doesn't have to deal with Lux fashion like I've had this halogen sweater for like four years 
and it makes me feel good that I got my money's worth. Like it's a thinner cashmere, it's super cute. Um, you know, you know, wearing my life sneakers, it brings me so much joy. Like for me, like I love items and storytelling. You guys know I do buy things very frequently, but I try to make sure that I love everything. Everything that I have that's sitting in front of me. Like this is a gift from my cousin Natalie for my birthday. Like I love it so much. Like I and every bits and bits and bobs of makeup and everything that's inside of here. It has storytelling. Like this was from us, you know, this was from a fragrance and sponsorship. I've had this since high school. Like this is the same bronzer that I would use um to cut you know change change myself you know what i mean the charlotte tilbury duo that i got in Nordstrom, uh that one of the charlotte tilbury makeup artists gave me so um and you know the first time i went to houston i bought this bebo to can cream so i just love that everything has like storytelling and i remember every gift everything that i've gotten like this was from a sponsorship with farfetch you know i I love everything. Um, next question is, as an employee, what perks do you get on luxury goods? And what happens to return bags? Are they put back on the floor right away? So very good question, uh, Sandra. Um, so the perks that I get is we get employee sales. So one of the last employee sales that we had, which was actually quite recently, we had 50% off selected designer handbag brands, sh shoe, like shoes and ready to wear. Um, um and like sometimes i wear cosmetics but even like in regular stores that's why i always tell people make if you work retail especially luxury retail make friends with all the people that work luxury retail because y'all you know allegedly i don't do this because i have to watch my back allegedly i do not do this but you know y'all can switch discounts y'all can like trade favors and stuff like i know you know certain things like um, certain bags that I've shown on my channel, I've definitely gotten it like 80-90% off, but I just couldn't say that because I wasn't going to out the person because, you know, they already did me that favor, but, um, but yeah, you get a lot of perks, but especially the discount, you get to see what the actual price of a lot of these items are, MSRP, but it's also a business and everything, so people just need to understand that, um, what happens to return bags, so, for me at Nordstrom, I am the person like all I'm not like the official title, but all of my coworkers know like if there's like a handbag return or anything that I'm the one that is going to do. If I'm if I'm working that day, they're gonna be like, hey Sergio, go do it. Or my coworkers don't feel comfortable confronting, like I will be the one to do it. I will go in, look at the bag and everything. And uh, right now we don't have a lot of distro in bags in our store. So um, we just send it back to online, but if it's damaged or it has some sort of imperfection, I just damage it out and it gets sent to a distribution center and I don't, the item just goes where it needs to go. But sometimes they do get put back on the floor, but it's honestly just going to depend um, how the bag gets returned. If it's just like brand new, people didn't like it, if it's still wrapped in plastic, it just honestly depends. But sometimes right then in the moment, it may just be put out back on the floor within the within 15 minutes. Um, next question is, do the majority of luxury sales associates judge people hard when they step into the store by their looks? I think at first it's intimidating, but they're all but they're all together and greet me. Yes and no. So when I was working more in like boutique experience, you know, people, we did kind of like look at each other like, oh, like, mm, like look who's coming in. But I've always been, if you guys have ever seen me in person, you guys, I'm not really like that. I'm not really like, oh, like snooty or snobby. I may like come across as that just because I'm very shy. And, and, but I'm not really like that in person. But yeah, people, the essays do talk about you when you leave, when you get into the store, what you bought, how much you bought, um, down to your shoes. They will talk about you after they leave. Because I wouldn't do it at the boutique experience. Like, I really didn't care. I, I was too busy focusing on making my money and servicing the client and the customer that's right then in the store. But a lot of my other coworkers, here, even at management, would like would judge them and would say maybe not the nicest thing about people or be saying very things that I don't agree with. So yeah, they do judge you, but it just honestly depends on the sales associate because I've met really nice associates that are not like that. Um, but I met a lot of snooty and also through like a lot of my friends like a lot of my friends that sell um, You know that are essays a lot of them are very snooty a lot of them are very bougie a lot of them are very stuck up a lot of them have really big egos But 
at the end of the day you work retail that's not your brand you're disposable like this so just, just keep it all the way 100 and so for me i'm just a little bit more humble so if somebody goes and spends you know i don't know 35 dollars on a tilbury lipstick that they came that they want to buy from me or they want to go buy you know the new you know christian dior ready to wear dress i'm still very grateful regardless but I have seen essays be very mean or nasty or say negative things in the past. And it's not the first or the last time that it's going to happen. But they do judge you. Your new job, oh, comfortable with your blogging at work. How is your mental health? So um, I've done blogging before. I went back and when I was working boutique and all my, everybody, no one really cares. Like everybody's too busy focusing on their own lives that they really don't care. Um, some of my co-workers watch my videos some of them don't some people in the store watch my videos some people don't it's either if you're into youtube if you're into social media you do or you don't but they really don't care as long as you know you're there on your schedule shift you're making money you're building relationships you're doing what you're supposed to do at any job role they really don't care and, and i i've never had any issues and i don't plan on having any issues but um they're comfortable they don't care they, and i think with me with a lot of like the vendors, the reps, the way I carry myself, everybody always gives me very good judgment. They know that I'm not gonna be out here saying some crazy shit, saying some crazy things. Like, I think you guys can see, like, I'm very calm in a lot of my videos. And so people judge, like, people know how I am as far as, like, maybe being predictable in a sense where, you know, or reliable. Like, you know, that surgery you can count on him. You can do whatever you want because at the end of the day, like, you know he's been here this x amount of time he's not going to do something that is not going to matter like in a week or so because i'm in it for the long term my mental health um vlogmas has just been a little crazy um but other than that um i just took a little today's my day off and so i'm about to chew a vlog but i just needed to t just take a uh, take a breaker because i have been working non-stop and then tomorrow we have a tom ford trunk show and I do really want to be successful in that event tomorrow. And then we have a couple other things that I have to get done tomorrow. And so tomorrow I have a really big number. And shout out to Chase because he really, really gave me a nice shout out on Instagram. Me and him have been very, very close friends for um, the moment he started working there. We've been really close. Like when he started working at Nordstrom and he just... He gave me some advice. He was like, you know what, Sergio? Like, you have the capability to sell. You have the capability to do all of this. Make an Instagram. I'll shout you out, and you can make some money. And so I did. So I, I think I started with like 250 followers, like on my own. And then he shouted me out, and I'm over a thousand followers. And um, he's the reason why I was able to sell all those things because he shouted me out because of a lot of his customers. Because some of his, because you know he works at Neiman's and I work at Nordy, so. You know, with people that shop more Nordy, you can shop with me and people shop with me. So it's kind of like a best of both worlds and we're across the hall and we see each other very, very frequently. It's only been two weeks in back into Dallas and my life feels completely changed. Like I am very calm, I'm very simple. Like I feel like in Houston I was living that very fast life, that very like party scene, like so crazy if you were following on Instagram. Or like even like I was very inconsistent with YouTube. But this is for a whole other video that I'm gonna be making like a life update later on, probably like in January or February. But I feel like now I'm like a lot more calmer. Like I'm more simpler. Everybody's super happy that I'm back. I think like I like I'm taking time for myself. I'm taking time to do things, everything right or how I want them to. And so everything is working pretty well if you ask me. I'm very, very thankful. But yeah, my mental health, thank you for asking. So a lot of people don't actually ask me that a lot of the time. Um, next question is, what does your life look like in five to 10 years? Professional or personal goals turn achievement. There's no doubt your future will be bright. So thank you so much for that question. I appreciate it. So what does my life look like in five to 10 years? I saw Taylor Swift interview maybe like a couple years back and it said like, it's very selfish to look very deep into the future because it's like tomorrow's not guaranteed or, you know, it's okay to look up maybe a few days or weeks or months ahead, but to look into a few years like, you know, maybe what I wanted to be 18 is not what I wanted to do now, but life is very unpredictable. It takes left and turns, and that's why I'm always sweet and nice to everybody, because when you're on your way up, you know, you can't be, like, shitting on people, looking down on people, and stuff like that, because the same people um, that you're shitting on on your way up are the same people that are going to be shitting you on your way down. So, um, I just kind of take things day by day. This is a question that I did get when I got rehired, was, like, where do I see myself? And that was the same response that I gave. I said, I think it's... 
I don't know where I'm gonna be. I don't even know what I wanna eat for dinner tonight. So I think for me, I'm just gonna take things day by day, especially since I was living a very fast life in Houston and I'm a little bit more calmer. I'm still kind of getting myself situated. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely do see myself um, taking my YouTube channel. Okay, let's just say like, definitely by like June, I, if I am successful in my role, um, let's just do six months i plan on getting that 100 000 subscriber plaque i think that is so long overdue and now that i can use youtube shorts that get a little bit more views and long-term videos that's definitely going to help me achieve that so if there's one goal that i do want to reach before like around june is definitely have that 100 000 subscriber plaque i'm at like 76 000 so it's very doable and the way that I'm positioning myself as my channel in January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, it, I'm very, I'm going to be successful in that role. So um, let's just say that would be my goal. But I do have goals, obviously, that I want to do later on into next year already that I'm already working on now. So stay tuned for that. But in the spring, there are a lot of events. There are a lot of things that I want to talk about and a lot of content that you're gonna be seeing on the channel, but maybe also next year, maybe I would love to go to Fashion Week. That's something that I've always wanted to do. Maybe not the one in spring. I think that's a little too early for me, but like my birthday is September 4th, so maybe like the weekend after that, that's when Fashion Week is. I would love to attend. I think that would be really nice. So um, we'll see how it goes. And my dream vacation destination would probably be Tokyo, Japan. And I'm gonna answer a few more questions for um instagram but i will ask you guys this probably next wednesday or so so do you guys want to ask me questions i would appreciate it next one and these are one some from instagram if you can get any hermes bag what would it be i do want to start my hermes journey next year um i was doing the calculation should i buy a bag off of fashion file honestly i already know some few people that work at hermes that i could already work with so i think my first i want to start with the picotin bag and it can be the smaller size would be better but I want to start with the Pika tin, and then probably around my 24th birthday, I would love to get like a Birkin or Kelly. I think that's enough time frame for me to kind of accommodate all that. So probably I would get a Pika tin, and then maybe another bag. Maybe I'll get like a, um, a what's it called? I'll probably end up getting a Pico tin and then I'll probably get a Burk like an Hermes Birkin or Kelly or Constance either or of the three is fine Because I do use my Trey Burch Eleanor flap style a lot. So I do like that style of bag a Birkin or Kelly I would use a lot more in a neutral color But either or and it can be like a 35 to like a 20 like or mini Kelly. It can be whatever I'm very open um, because right now uh, as long as it's a neutral color, I think that would be good and particularly more in silver hardware. I think yeah, but definitely the Pico tin would be the first one Are you are you going to shop with international clients? We don't have Nordstrom in Canada anymore as of now No, but that's a possibility that can change in the future. So stay tuned for that Do a video with your mom. Yes, and that's something that I'm planning to do um, next year because there is an event that's going to be going on in the spring and that's when I introduced coming to introduce that. Question is, ¿Cuánto tiempo visitas en México? So every time I go to Mexico, I probably go for like a week, but it's no longer past a week. Um, y si estoy en el rancho, la mera verdad, like, I don't like to be there for like, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, like two, three days. I'm always somebody that likes to be, like I'm right now I'm playing with this Alaya uh, sunglass case. I always like to be like a hamster wheel. I always have to keep doing something. I always have to keep doing it. And me being calm in the rancho doing nothing drives me insane. So like in the ranchito, like where like the population is like under 5,000 people. Honestly, it, would, it drives me mentally insane. Like I have to be there for like two days max. Or I have to drive to Querétaro. Or I have to drive, like I have to be Mexicali. Like I cannot be in a small rural era. Even like for vacations and stuff. I don't understand how people like went to like Miami Beach or like you know Cancun and just laying down and relaxing. Like I do not like that at all. I like to be in the city, take pictures, go shopping, eat, you know, do this, do that, go to all the museums, take pictures, everything, get dolled up, have a nice dinner. That's just me. I don't really like calm vacations and I actually don't like the idea of vacation because for me, you know, I think going forward every vacation is always going to be a work trip. 
Um, but that's just who I am as a person. I like to uh, be like that. That could change in the future, but I, I've, I've never really liked like, each vacations where I'm down. Like even like 4th of July when we were in Galveston, I was just like, oh, like I wish I was doing something other than just sitting at the beach. You know what I mean? Um, is a real real good site for pre-love items? If not, what would you suggest? So I'm always gonna suggest Fashion File. I love Fashion File. I love Second Street where I went and I did a video. Um, those are the places where I personally have shopped from. Um, I heard Keeks is a really good place. I have sold to them at the past, but I have never purchased from them. And the way they did their authentication with me makes it seem like they know what they're doing. I have never sold or bought off the real real just because I don't necessarily like the terms that they give you. But also I have a platform. So right now, like for example, like earlier today, like things from the last vlog, like I sold two bags and a necklace and a bracelet and I sold it all within the hour. And so for me, like it's more easier just to sell things on my platform. And so um, I would buy things from the real world. Like I would buy maybe like shoes and clothing, but I probably wouldn't buy bags. I would buy things maybe with the MSRP under like a, I wouldn't spend over a thousand dollars on anything on the real real as of now. But fashion file, I would recommend Keeks, Second Street, those three I've had personal relation. I have been inside stores or like have some sort of relationship. And so for me, those three are going to be the only places. And I have bought from eBay too. eBay has gone, eBay and Poshmark has gone a lot better because the Poshmark you have the authentication and then same for eBay. So they have gone a lot better, those two. But um, I would say Fashion File, Keeks, Second Street, yes, a lot more. But my second would be more eBay and Poshmark, but I don't have too, too much experience with those two. But yeah, guys, those are some of the questions that I got asked. I want to say if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel because um, and make sure to be following me on my Shop with Sergio Instagram account. I will be doing uh, another vlog probably after this video and then I'm going to be doing a busy work Saturday with me vlog with a chill downtime Sunday. More vlogs coming up. Thank you so much for everybody watching Vlogmas. Like, it has been so successful. Um, like literally today's the 15th. This video will go out on the 15th. I was gonna do a sit down video, but I kind of wanted the video to go out on, on today. So, yeah, it's been going super well, like every everything. So, I want to say thank you, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys, and take care.